Welcome to Audi Cloud Compute. In this video, I will cover how to install a compute or HPC worker node to an existing HPC cluster, Microsoft HPC cluster. I have one head node, which is HPC01. So I'm just going to add an additional compute node to this head node. So when you install a head node, by default it creates a couple of shares. So in this if you see there are shares created by this so we we will be using this shares to access the hpc binaries from the worker node and to access the certificates so let's see so this is my head node ip address so it can access see that ip address so the sorry the file shares remote installation folder so have all the setup and we have the certificates we need the certificates for the all the other installations other head um, other head node uh, if you want to introduce a new head node or a compute node whatever you need to use this existing certificate to communicate with the clients or a head node okay let's move to the compute node this is my uh, uh, new system i just want to introduce this configure this system as a uh, worker or a compute node let's see let's start accessing the files the head node file chair from here HPC01. Okay, so just need to access this remote install folder and just run the setup. Or if you don't want to access over the network, uh, you can copy the uh, uh, download the exe and directly run uh, run the setup uh, of HPC setup exe directly instead of running from the share. So we got the .NET installed and we back in the HPC setup console, the flash screen. So in this, we're going to use this new installation link. So if you want to add and introduce a new uh, head node, use the second one. So if you want to uh, know how to add this additional or uh, multiple uh, head nodes, so check my previous video. So let's click on the new installation link, the first one. Okay, click next, agree the license agreement. Okay, and this we're gonna install the second, we're gonna use this join an existing HPC cluster by creating a new compute node. Okay, so select the new compute node option, the second one and click next, next. So join the existing cluster. So just click on the drop down. It should display the cluster name. So if you're not sure, uh, this generally this is the uh, head, head node name uh, in my case it is hpc01 if you have a multiple uh, multi uh, node cluster head node cluster it will be uh, node name 1 comma node name 2 like it if like a, if i say two nodes hpc01 comma hpc02 so in this case so if 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 you don't see, if if this first time you are uh, launching this uh, uh, installation window, it might take a couple of minutes to populate this uh, head node information from your network. If it is not auto populated, uh, it should automatically populate. If it, uh, it's not, I'm um, typing manually, but make sure it it's where you give it enough time to auto populate the uh, cluster name. Next. Yeah, I'm going to use the default uh, path C drive if you uh, I don't want to change it if you want to change if you're planning to put additional data just use a different location I'm just going to leave it to the default C drive click next so here we need to uh, import the certificate which we used uh, uh, during the head node installation so I'm just going to browse there's no certificates available okay I'm going to import certificate, browse for the certificate. Okay, this is the path of the HPC node, uh, head node, in the remote installation folder. So I can't find any certificates here. So go back to the head node and extract the certificate. So this certificate is in CEO format, that's why it is not uh, uh, visible visible there in the installation so let's extract the pfx from this head node go to mmc 
connect to the add snap in certificates yes computer account finish so local computer personal certificates so this is a certificate so just right click all task export and this wizard click next yes we need a private key click next so just a pfx leave it to default one make sure it is pfx is selected yep click on the password type in the password set some password to protect your private key click next and browse what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this into the the share location where the head node share so that it we can access it from there so remote installation certificates so hpc we call it hpc head node so make sure you don't replace the existing one so use a different name click next now it is exported let's go back to the system just refresh yeah we got the hpc head node certificate which we exported the pfx now click open now we need type the password which we entered during the export process okay import that's it now click next so that's going to install the remaining components missing components click next yeah let's wait for the install to come installation to complete okay the installation is completed so click finish so we can close all this so now you should be able to see hpc cluster manager here in this compute node you can manage from here or if you can go back to the uh, head node launch the, the cluster manager uh, you can install the HP, uh, cluster manager anywhere even on your laptop desktops uh, remotely connect to the cluster manager wherever you want so just launch the cluster manager a let's go to the resource management and see uh, yes our new uh, com uh, the compute node has been it's available now it's it's detected the new system but it is says the node state is unknown and it is not approved okay just let's try adding this node try to add right click and add node so apply from bare metal we're going to use this add compute node or broker nodes that have already been configured yes this is what we want to do it. click next next yes this is compute node template and just select this one hpc02 add it and now finish so this now this hpc02 the new compute node is node uh, state has been changed to offline but the node health status become okay so if you want uh, you can start using it so just bring it online so now we, these cores uh, memories whatever on, the, on this but hpc02 should be available for you to execute the uh, task uh, in hpc when you submit the job uh, you, you should be able to see this hpc01 and 02 uh, whatever the nodes online the node status is on if the node status is on and this it is part of compute node template then you can use those resources to submit your task okay, let's click new job so selection now you should be able to select both hpc01 i have four cores in the hpc uh, head node and the four cores in the hpc the compute node so in total 16 gig memory and four cores available all are online for job to execute so you can replace all eight cores for a job submission okay let's verify once again so all looks okay yep that's all for this video we have covered how to install a compute or a worker node to an existing hpc 2019 cluster so we'll cover how to execute jobs in the compute nodes in the next video thank you